So here in our Node.js backend, in our validate form.js file, we're creating this schema with Yup right here. And if you noticed, it's the same exact schema that we're using on our front end over here in our signup component and our login component. And that's not really proper. So it would be really nice if we can just code this in one place and share it throughout all of our packages. So luckily we're using Yarn workspaces and it's really easy to do that. So to do that, we're going to want to create our own package, um, a separate package. And then through that, we can share code between all of our packages. So in our packages folder, I'm just going to create a common folder. And then I'm going to CD into this folder. And I'm going to run yarn init dash Y. Now, once I'm in here, I'm going to change all the names of my packages. So then they adhere to the best practices. So this one would be at WhatsApp dash clone slash common. And then our front end would be called at WhatsApp dash clone slash client and our back end over here would be called at WhatsApp dash clone slash server. Okay, so over here in our common package, we would want to install Yup. And so let's create an index.js where all of our imports are going to come from. And we can literally just grab this code over here and delete it and paste it into our new index.js in our new package. And then we would do module.exports equals an object with form schema inside of it, like so. So now in our server, in our package JSON, we can get rid of yup as a dependency and just add our own package. So WhatsApp clone slash common version 1.0.0. And we could do the same thing in our front end package.json, like so. So we're going to want to run yarn in our repo. And then we can go over here in our validate form.js and we can import um, we can import our schema from our common package. So it would be const form schema is equal to require WhatsApp clone common, like so. And so we're gonna go over here and do the same thing. So we're gonna get rid of our our import of yup and we're gonna import form schema from WhatsApp clone common and then our validation schema is gonna be equal to our form schema like so and we can do the same thing over here and I'm just gonna copy over this import Okay, so now everything should work exactly the same, except we're not uh, reusing code all over the place. So over here, we still should be validating our form with that same schema from the last video. So I'm going to go over here to Postman and send over this request with uh, this body. And as you can see, it's printing out form is good. That means it got validated and it's kind of um, hanging there. So I want to make sure to send over a response with a status code of 200 when it's good. And let's try sending um, a, a body in our request that would that would be validated and it would be considered invalid. As you can see here, we got the status code 422 and in our server, it got printed out the error code from here. So, and we go to our front end it's working exactly the same. 